Mr. Nuttall, your, your opening speech wasn't that blatantly exploiting Manchester for oh, election oh, yes. and oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Move on, Paul, after something else. Yes. You say you're not exploiting Manchester, but you say also that uh, lighting candles is not enough. Isn't that an insult to all the people who come out? Yeah. Ask a sensible sure. question. So we're not exploiting anything, actually. Uh, can you confirm that you haven't added anything in to your manifesto since what happened on Monday night? No, it went to print on Saturday night. Mr. Nuttall Evans, you had very strong words for Theresa May's record as Home Secretary. You've accused her of allowing jihadis in. It sounds like you're <coughs> near as damn it blaming the Prime Minister for this attack and the circumstances that led to it. No, 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 I'm not accusing the Prime Minister. I'm, I'm saying that politicians in this country have been weak on this issue uh, for many, many years. Well, you had a choice yesterday afternoon uh, when that minute silence was announced. You could have put back this manifesto launch to 12 o'clock when local campaigning was being resumed. Instead, in 10 minutes' time, the nation is going to stop to remember the victims. Surely you are exploiting what happened in Manchester. We tried to push this back with the broadcast as tall as we could. Okay? That's the, that's the bottom line. You know, we wanted to push this back, but we were told we weren't allowed to. Okay? So, so no, 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 it's got nothing to do with making the lunchtime news at all. focusing on the wrong problem. focusing on the wrong problem.